That first episode actually exceeded my expectations. We saw the trailer and we saw that it's going to be some kind of show where, you know, it's like the, the not the, if I say Power Rangers, people get triggered, but I'm going to say Power Rangers so people get mad. It's Sentai, I know. But it's basically them versus, you know, the Zako, the minions every Sunday. And it's just like WWE for the kids, right? They love it. The merch is, the merch is selling. But the twist is like, the heroes might be kind of evil and the bad people might be actually kind of good. And now after getting that plot twist, it's like, okay, our main character is now going to infiltrate the Power Rangers and learn from within to counter them. I don't know. It feels like, I don't know where this, the, the story needs to, I thought that our main character is going to be able to rally up the minions, the Zako on our side, the dusters and like revolt against them because it doesn't, it seems like we've already given up, but I didn't expect us to already like go in as like a double agent or some shit. And on top of that, there's this girl. There's a girl with empty eyes that was like shaking her hand in the, in the beginning, handing out posters, right? That girl is extremely sus. I wouldn't be surprised if she also is a duster or someone that wants to bring the Sentai down. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's begin episode two. Dusters don't die. And that's the thing! We have immortal bodies! How the fuck do we lose? Well, there's a reconstruction process, right? If you get beaten by that laser beam, like, you can't just stay on the field anymore, right? We reconstruct and you go back to the base. Wait, 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 what is this? Not when we can destroy them with the divine artifact. Here, after the war was created, they created the divine artifacts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so this is not Gojo Satoru, but this is Red Ranger, right? So these are all the important rangers. I'm not sure if they're all, but basically we're there. This is our like uh, new auditions, right? This is our recruitment process. Here he is. <laughs> what? What's wrong with this hair? Hmm. What's going on? Even here, he was a little sussy of his own hair. What's going on with this bro? Bro's got fat ass eyeliner, nothing wrong with that, but he's got some kind of afro. His hairstyle's really strange. What, what's going on? Okay, the main ones that was there when we were defeated. The Dragon Keepers. Go Fighter D, episode 2. They're too important for here. Oh, it's the kid from uh, last episode. He was handing out the pamphlets with the girl that's super sus. I don't know. Is she a duster? Yumeko Suzuki. He's like our biggest fan. Now, if you look at the eyes, look at the eyes, right? The dust, do the dusters all have the same pupils? Because he has pretty much like a black outline, kind of dark brownish, and then a white dot. The other guy had green eyes. Yumeko, though, it's just pitch black. Mm, it's probably not a good enough signal to see if she's a duster or not. I don't know. There's something suspect about her. <laughs> Fighters have fragile bodies compared to you surface dwellers. His skin is cracking because this is just a mask, right? To hide his duster form. She knows, bro! She fucking knows, bro! That girl is sussy. Yumeko, doesn't this just straight up look like Aincrad? Wait, what? what is this? I don't know. We've been watching SAO too much. This doesn't really look like... It's just like a floating castle. Just a floating castle. Y'all just playing tic tac toe at home? What? What? Red Ranger? Oh shit! Why did they show up at her base? Dude, I love how they always make Red Ranger like so devious. It's the something about the dark shading and the bright red. Relax. Yeah, comrades, right? 
この城の連中もぐるってわけじゃねえよな。いや、あれはセントインディ。ってねえとかよ。詐欺だろ、これおい。は、はい。つうわけで。It's too busy at your tryouts. That's so funny how we went to their base to look for these guys. And they came to our base to look for D. And it's like, where are you, boss? D is not a good t h i n t h e r No, 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 no. <laughs> What? What did I do? <laughs> This bullshit! Yeah, you're being unfair, man. Classic good cop. Bad cop. They're both in on it. Now, because we've been conditioned to feel that shit, he just saved us from a bad hand. We're more likely to listen to Red Ranger and we're gonna get manipulated. This motherfucker, man! This guy, Blue Squadron, Blue Squadron Senior, third rank. Okay. These two will be stationed. Okay, they're just patrolling us. Alright. We're getting basically just monitored now. It's not okay! Yeah! No, he's right! Speak your shit! Ah, they're immortal, it's gonna be fine. I'm like, holy fuck, did you just gonna kill him? This is fucked, man. This is so unfair. This is not a partnership, you smooth talking criminal. Fuck you. You're so smooth. I hate how suave Red is, dude. He's too fucking good. Everything he says is so smooth and sweet. It's like, oh, it's for us, right? We're partners. Come, come on. This isn't so bad. This guy. Oh, no, 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 because I thought even if we get hit by the divine artifact, we can live. So divine artifact can actually kill the immortal beings. I thought that, because like the weapon they used last episode. Remember last episode, the dragon beam? Wasn't that a divine artifact? They shot at us. We died and then we reconstructed. I thought that was what's going on. But now it seems like that was not the divine artifact. And the real divine artifact can actually kill... The dusters, even if they are immortal. Okay. Okay. So, so. You're right. They can't just kill them for the show, right? The show can't go on. It's a fake divine artifact, but the real divine artifact does exist because the bosses indeed were killed. You're right. You want to live in oppression like this forever? Fuck this, dude! We need a holy war, bro! We need a fucking messiah! We need a person that's gonna deliver us to the promised land! We need a fucking jihad, dude! Fuck these rangers! Fuck those kids buying merch off of us! No more! Enough of being oppressed! We need to get back at them! Where is the Lisa Nagaib? This guy. <laughs> Okay, they have their own garrison. This guy creeps me out. The green eyed guy. Look at this shit. Even the fucking website has ads just plugging his fucking Blue Ranger sneakers in the top right, bro. Come on now. This is all just for PR. This is all just the whole system, bro. Yeah, you're such good people, right? Mm. Just an act. Y'all not know? Ploy by the Rangers.
Notice how the girl Yumiko is kind of willing to kind of play with the idea that it is fake and I'm sure she knows. But the guy on the right is like, what are you talking about? That's unforgivable. Yumiko is so fucking sus. So, you know, it's kind of like hush hush. Like, is the show real or not? Of course it's fucking fake. But they believe that it is real because that's the cult that they have. Yumiko is awake. Th <laughs> ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real show for sure. Hmm. <laughs> this girl, bro. This guy doesn't though. <laughs> Oh, it's the same kid. Come, buddy. You can do it. And then they say, right, right, right. All right. Take a selfie with the fans. Oh. Completely brainwashed. Just, just drinking the fucking Kool-Aid. I'm proud to be a member of the Honorable Ranger Force, bro. Holy shit. The indoctrination is so real. Wake up, you sheep. They're stuck in the Matrix, guys. What are we eating back home? Bye-bye. Yumeko, you're very sus. Red Garrison? She's part of that? I keep calling them, you know, Ranger. His name is Red Keeper. They're Dragon Keepers. They're not Power Ranger. They're Sentai. But I keep calling them Blue Ranger. This Red Ranger. I need to call them Red Keeper. Blue Keeper. Who are you, bro? Ew. I already got a picture with them. Delete the picture! D delete the picture off the kid's phone! Fuck this kid! Delete it! Oh, 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 come on! You gotta delete it! Come on! <laughs> What about <laughs> him? Duster! Oh! He can change... Then it should be possible for Yumeko too if she's also Duster. So, okay. You can reconstruct your body to look like someone else now. Okay, okay, okay. But the eyes, the pupils... The green guy, right? We don't, we can't copy that, but make note of the eyes, okay? Red Squad Garrison, where Yumeko's going. <laughs> Yumeko's eyes are so suspicious because they're just pitch black, but they don't have that white dot. That's why I just can't conclusively say that she's a duster, but I could totally believe it, bro. She's probably too smart for this. Oh, we got a kitchen knife we stole too. Red Try to stab Red Keeper? That's your plan? With your snake knife? You're gonna use a snake, like a steak knife on Red Keeper? You got the fucking duster bag still, bro! Well, actually, I'm not sure. Isn't that the duster logo? It could be the Keepers. That eye, man. That eye. Can you really with the steak knife? Yeah. What does he look like without his mask? Uh, Which one's Red Keeper? Right? Can he figure that out? We did see him. What the fuck is bro's makeup? Is this supposed to be the pride of like fucking Red Keeper? What What is going on? He's definitely not Red Keeper. But we don't have a faction. <laughs> It's fucking budget discount joker. You're cool headed, right? Now, I wonder if Yumeko decided to tell him that in order to prevent us from killing. I don't know. Yumeko is so sus. The timing was too perfect. I don't know. This smug fucking look on her face. So I think maybe we can assume that Yumiko also wants a downfall of Red Keeper. And she's realizing that this, you know, new duster is kind of, she can use him to get that. I wonder what her deal is though. You just blow away your title card. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, it's breaking, uh oh, it's breaking, uh oh, it's breaking. Uh キーパーに手渡ししなければいけない手紙があるんです。鈴木さん、そうですよね。ああ、響きぼっちゃんよ。こいつまさか桜も知ってる。ときたさ。You never call me that. 
<laughs> you fucking with me? Interesting. The future Red Keeper. Yellow is just research and development. Okay, good to know. Yeah, she prefers the freedom in her work. And what's that freedom? To be able to just go around, employ, and try to figure out people that also have the same goals, or which is to take down Red Keeper and perhaps the other Dragon Keepers too. Okay, Red Squadron, all just about. ドイツもこいつもあの戦いで見たことのある。はい。そうなんだよな。俺もドラゴンキーパー3匹倒した時は Always running away. There he is. Red the Keeper. Gojo Sato the voice actor. There he is. Stab him, bro. Huh? Oh, the Red Keeper. So say Akabane. Yeah. Well, he has to be. Unless there's some crazy fucking plot twist. Because right now, we are going with the whole thing of would the Red Ranger show his face? And we've already seen his face in the recruitment exam. It seems like it's fine to show his face around. And they keep fixating on this. What if this is action at the Red Keeper? There's no way, right? He has a little mole here too. I, there's no way. I think I'm reading way too deep into this, but an insane fucking plot twist is like, this is actually not Red Keeper for whatever reason. That would be crazy. <laughs> no, think, think, think! We just saw... We just saw... The Duster reconstruct his face, right? We saw Duster reconstruct his face to look at the independent ranger. Who's to say that these dragon keepers are not Dusters? Who's to say that this guy right now looks like Red Keeper after that battle that happened in the past? This is our boss, maybe? Could you fucking imagine? Like, think about it. It is possible. Right? Exactly. What actually happened back in the past? We don't know. It just says the Red Keepers won and they simply did it. What if this is a fucking insane plot twist where the conspiracy is the Dusters themselves, the bosses, wanted better future for themselves and they said, fuck the rest of our minions. We're going to create the systems by assuming the R Dragon Keepers. I think that I might be onto something or we're just cooking out of nowhere. But like, yo. Imagine if the plot goes like that, just because we've seen how their faces can change. Now, if we were to grab onto Gojo Satoru right here, if we were to grab onto him, would that do it? I don't know. But now that we have seen his face, we should be also be able to reconstruct our image to look like Red Keeper. And then, just like you say, yeah. Then we could do something bad to ruin their reputation. You're right. I don't know. I like the idea that like this is a huge conspiracy and then our bosses took on, you know, the previous Dragon Keeper's looks to live like this. I don't know. Just, just a thought. But, 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 the Duster's eyes remain the same. This guy has the same red eye color. The Dusters all have the black eye color. So I guess it's impossible for this guy to be a Duster. <laughs> Contact lenses! Con nah, we're going to, we're reaching now. We are fucking reaching now. This is not contact lenses. No way. Maybe just the bosses have some special, you know, you know, be able to... Maybe the bosses specifically got the contact lenses. You never know. You don't fucking know, right? Hmm. She knew from the beginning. That's why she covered for us. She knows. She knows. Now reconstruct yourself. Show me your true form. Yeah. Now who are you though, huh? Who are you though? Are you also a duster? Slow pen. Slow pen, cameraman. But what does she actually look like? What if this is not her actual look? And if you actually look at her when she's you know, reconstructed to her original form, it doesn't look like her. 
Who are you? Are you a duster? Bro, we died like six times here. Come on. You're an ally. Don't lie to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Yes, let's go. Yo. The plot is thickening. And we gone. Bye bye. We'll see you later, Suzukiri. And we're back at our base. No, not yet. It's the Red Squadron. Oh, that's the monster hunt that they're doing that they just mentioned. What did he do? Fire F! Fuck this wannabe Joker, dude! Get back at him! You can't make us stay here, can you? I guess he can. Yo! Red Keeper transformation scene! Okay, that's kinda high. Okay, I loved, I do love the transformation scenes and shit, yo. <laughs> this or, uh, Tres Magia. Magia Lupus, bro. Mad Gutching over Magical Girl. Transform! <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do a sussy transformation for Red Keeper. Akabane Sose. Akabane Sose. Henshin. Oh, 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 yo. Wait, wait, wait. But he's already in the outfit. What's the purpose of this transformation? He just gets a fucking cape and a fucking helmet. That's the transformation. It's just a cape and a helmet. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. The real one? The real one! What the fuck is that? It looks like it's made out of a fucking bone and muscles, right? Look at the divine artifact. It looks so fucking like flesh like and bone like. Fighter F actually gonna die? Oh shit! Fighter F, no, I barely knew you! This animation is going crazy, dude. Come on! Stand proud! How could this be? The animation goes so fucking crazy! Yamato no Orochi. Dude, he looks so cool! Red Keeper looks too cool, goddammit! Yamato no Orochi. F! Hey, he took his final stand, okay? Rise against these motherfuckers, dude! Where is our messiah? We need the Lisanagai! Bro, this shit? I think this shit was fucking peak. And that's it for me. Man, man, like, the thing about this show is that I thought it would be such a simple show, but it's not. It's a fucking big brain show. I, 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 this is such a big brain show because, like, there's the past that was talked about, about how the, there was, like, the, you know, they fight against the bosses, uh, right? They fought against the bosses or the dusters. And then they use the divine artifact, right? The keepers use the divine artifact to kill them, right? And then I was like, wait, 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 what, wait, what if, right? The keepers, right, are the bosses that dusted and transformed, but no, their eyes are still the same, right? The pupils are still the same, but still, we learned that instead of just like being able to reconstruct and resurrect, we can basically, uh, what's the word? We can basically uh, transform into other people in disguises, but our pupils remain the same. And, and, and by doing so, maybe we can back, back at them. Yumiko, on the other hand, has been very suspicious from the beginning. And Yumiko is obviously in it for the long con. I don't know what her deal is. Maybe she's also a duster. Her eyes does not look identical like ours, right? There should be a white dot here, but it is pitch black. So maybe there is a hint that she is also a duster. And like this show, 
I thought that it was just gonna be some kind of dumb fucking show, but even like it's big brain plot and the animation, the transformation, bro, Henshin into the ultimate technique, bro. This shit is fucking peak. Dude, the animation was so crazy. I love this. I love this. And even if this does bad, I will fucking finish it. That you have my word. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.